Yo, what is up guys? Willis back here again with another gaming video jumping into After Pulse. As usual, we're going to be taking a look at the 5 star max level CQR 2000 Panther. I was lucky to get one of these from the 510 gold deal. Um, thanks to all the gold from the deathmatch event. And give you a look at it here. It does look pretty awesome. Mostly black with a few white accents. Got that Panther logo on the back. Really cool looking weapon in my opinion. What's up? We got Casey Conklin in here. We got Jordan666 back again. We got Michelle Lee. Shout out to you. Jordan666 first. Your second. But just by, well, seconds. <laughs> um, so let's see. This guy has 598 portability. That's apparently a 15% boost. Which is pretty nice. Um, we'll get to that a bit later. Let's see, it's 598. I'll just look at a regular CQR. We got a four star right here. So the regular is 520 times 1.15 is apparently 598. And we also got the damage boost, so that's pretty good as well. Um, it is a five star here, so range isn't the best. Um, that's That might be where this gun struggles a little bit. So I'm wearing the three piece tactical beret gear set. Uh, to get that extra range boost and we'll jump into a training match real quick this is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter stream or really just like trying to do like a typical weapons review like i used to do back in the day um before i live stream oh we got mexican burrito in here what is up christian delgado your echo yeah man i've seen you in the last couple streams shout out to you and maybe we'll do some customs if you guys want towards the end. But I'll probably shoot for like a half an hour stream or so. Just try to knock out this training match, see what the CQR 2000 Panther is capable of. You know, a lot of people don't like the Panther series. Some people do. Um, I personally do. I, I personally like it a lot. It is a series that I suggested. Um, you know, I think eventually we'll see every single stat on every gun boosted with some type of series, you know, one way or another, right? Um, what's up, Frank O? That player had a couple of games against me, King Blood 13 Can't say I remember, but good games. I'll keep an eye out for you. Um, so I thought, you know, it was just inevitable. Eventually we had to have a series that boosted portability. I figured it would happen one way or the other, and it finally happened. Um, so you do have the standard damage increase, and then, you know, really the advantage with the boost in portability is just more in close range. You can kind of strafe faster, just all around move faster, I mean, obviously, but I think that's definitely a good advantage for close range. You can run circles around someone and you can move a little faster, they might not be able to keep up with their aim. And so in close range, you know, I think it gives you a little bit of an advantage. At long range, you know, I think the Atom is going to be the best, then probably the Autumn. Um, but obviously this one has the damage boost, so it's better than the regular non-skinned edition anyways. So regardless of what range you're at. So it's pretty interesting. I think it's cool. I like the design as well. Mostly black look. Looks pretty awesome. I can show you the six star preview. Can't show you the six star, unfortunately. This is my only five star and I didn't get any four stars either, so. The AG10 six star is amazing. 45, two and one. Yeah, I've been building the AG10 Panther. I got my five star up to level 27 I think um, but I'm really enjoying that gun I'm definitely gonna make that a six star as soon as possible so I'm looking forward to that it was a pretty decent training match especially for live stream my training score has definitely gone down a lot lately since the latest update they made it a little bit harder I seem to die more often not get as many headshots, but you guys know that already. Um, 
we're gonna jump into multiplayer. I guess we'll do some ranked. And uh, yeah, like I said, might do some customs at the end, but overall we're gonna keep it relatively short stream. Hopefully we can find some matches here. Go to ranked, I have 999 points. Um, I guess I went negative, four, six, and two. I only played one game. We'll jump into TDM. We should be able to find a game at this time, but yep, there we go. Just need one more person. Um, I'll show you guys the five star AG10. This will probably be my next video. I'll do a little, you know, standard type of review like I'm doing now. Um, but really enjoying this guy. I mean, there's there's nothing like special or like OP about it, but it's it's fun to play with. The portability boost is nice, and uh, yeah, it's just you know it's just fun to run around with. It does have the same portability as the CQR2000, so I think without debate, the CQR2000 Panther is better than the AG10 Panther. But AG10 Panther is certainly fun to play with, and I will be building it. Let's see how we're doing. Got a match going down on Train Yard. Let's see. I'll keep my launcher. Got some stuns equipped, concussions, whatever they're called. Should be pretty good. Full six star tactical rig gear set. Let's see. Should I combine my SS V9 Delta six star for a random seven star or keep it? Um. I don't know, for me, I would keep it just because I like to build and collect every single gun in the game. If you've watched any, literally any past video, you've probably heard me say that I want to eventually build or have every gun in the game. Um, you know, I would personally keep it just because it's a, a really rare gun. Um, you know, the latest stat changes did make it pretty hard to play with. Um, but as we've seen, you know, it could get a buff in the in the future, you know, like the Mar-12, you know, Mar-12 Atom, whatever, used to be useless. Then they buffed it. Now it's one of the best guns in the game. Um, so I think being that it's so rare, I would hold on to it and just, you know, it's still usable for like training and stuff. And you can do all right in multiplayer, but it's certainly not what it used to be. Um, but yeah. I forget what I was trying to say. <laughs> I would hold on to it just because it's rare and hope that they buff it again in the future. And I'm sure we'll we'll see more skin versions of it as well, so that's something to keep in mind if you want to make a random 7 star and wait for a skin version, you can do that. But if you're going to combine it, I would definitely wait for some type of combine event with a 100% chance. Not sure when we'll see one of those again, but if you just combine it now, you'll probably get like a seven star RS300 or something. Or like a MKR3. But yeah, that's my personal take on it. Let's see, this one dude's got the Atom gear. Pretty hard to kill. Got Larry's over here. Ooh, look at that stun. We're moving so slow. He's got the AG10. think. Yeah, they're behind that crate. There's one. Got a kill. Lost a bit of health. Guess we're gonna run around this way. Oh, there's one up here. Yeah, he's got the Atom armor. It's too OP, man. Very tough to play against that Atom armor. Let's see. You see, we can hit our print our running animation with the three-piece beret gear set. Wow, I didn't know where that guy was. <laughs> what did I miss? I wasn't here for the beginning. Uh, literally just a training match. This is my first match, so you're all here pretty early. Where did this guy go? Oh jeez, this is brutal, man. Brutal. I don't know, overall defense on the gray gear is a little low. Maybe I should go a little more protective. I saw that guy up there, I didn't mean to jump down. 
There we go. That killed really quick. That was nice. I do have these equipped. Let's throw one that way. Aw, oh, man. Should we go for it? Yeah, we got him. That's where a portability boost, you know, doesn't make a huge difference, but could help a little bit. You know, we ran up there a, a little quicker than a regular player might expect. Let's see if we can get this guy. There we go. Oh, did not know that guy was there. Is that a seven star? Yeah, it looks like it. Not bad. Pretty tough competition. Looks like we're going to get the win. See if we can get one more. Oh, we are close. What's up, Fuse Illusion? Of course I remember you. Oh, 12, 6, and 0. I thought we'd go like 5 and 5. I guess I wasn't really paying attention. I guess that's pretty good. 2.0 kill death ratio. Not bad at all. Let's see, we got plus 10 combat points. That puts us in top 25%. Just like that, play one match, get to top 25%. Let's see, it is Wednesday, so we still got a couple days left on the rankings. I'm sure it'll get a little more competitive, but not really that hard to get up there. Let's see, in After Pulse news, it looks like the Revlo shop is shutting down tonight. Um, let me see. June 14th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, um, Gameville's Revlo shop will be closed down. Um, you can redeem After Pulse gold from there if you got some points left and you want to redeem the 300 gold, whatever it is. You can still do that, that's still up there. Uh, there's no crates, apparently. Um, but if you don't spend your points, I think it sounds like unredeemed points will be transferred to their new system, which is Stream Elements, which I don't know anything about, uh, but that's what Superclass posted in the forums. If you wanna get more info on that, definitely good to know. You want to spend your points you got to do it now but if you don't spend them they will roll over to the next reward system so we'll see how that goes did i make you mad when i shot you with the fm bobcat in deathmatch event yeah man of course anyone who kills me makes me mad <laughs> i wish i had the bobcat panther any skin bobcat I got one regular six star. A lot of people say it's kind of useless right now. Let's see if we can get the GL sniper to come back, baby. Let's go. We're lagging like crazy. Everybody's connecting. Kill assist. All right, there's two guys back here. We got to get one eventually. I feel like the Atom grenade launcher was stronger during the Atom event. Now it's just crap again. Ooh, four star Iris 300 Atom. Gotta tell us when you stream. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I usually like schedule the stream. I don't know if you guys get notified for that or whatever, but I usually schedule it like 20 minutes before. But at this point, I don't really have like a set schedule. Eventually, I'd like to, you know, stream at the same time every day. It's just a pretty big commitment. And I don't want to schedule a stream and not show up. So if I schedule one, I should be there 99% of the time. But yeah, eventually I'll get on a better schedule. Just crazy busy right now. Let's see. Oh my gosh. There's two of them. Where's the second guy? Yeah, we got him. Alright, we got a hit. Kill assist. 
I love having concussions because they do some damage as well as stun the enemy. It's better than just the good old flashbangs. But they do cost gold. Or you can rack them up from your daily login calendar. Let's see, I know they're back there in that corner. Or maybe not. Oh, look at that, we can't quite reach them. It's like just out of range, the auto aim doesn't lock on. But we got him. That's where three piece for race hat definitely helps. Let's see, are they in this back corner or right in front of me? <laughs> Hopefully, there's no one back here. Alright, we're good. Camping it out in their spawn. Another kill there. Looks like we're up by a bit. We should get the win. Got a minute left. Should be able to hold on. There's a good spot to throw a stun, although that was a terrible throw. And we just got that guy. Got really lucky. Oh, there's one up here. Look at that. That's an awesome kill. There's tons of different vantage points you might not think of, especially if you're a newer player. On pretty much every map, but there's some really cool vantage points on uh, warehouse whatever this is called <laughs> I think I saw someone go behind here oh we got him we killed him with a concussion epic what do I do for a living I am actually a software developer I'm a businessman dude <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping to use that knowledge to build some cool stuff for you guys. You know, I've been working on the wiki, but that's really nothing special. I've just never done any, like, web development stuff before, so it's kind of a new territory. Um, but hopefully, coming soon, I'll uh, develop, you know, some cool, cool apps to supplement after Paul's. I don't know. I'll keep it kind of vague for now, but I'm hoping I can do something cool. Let's see. We got up to top 15% after two matches. We went 12 and 5. Not too bad, especially on the live stream. Loading up pretty quick. Got lots of people playing tonight. Did you miss anything? No. <laughs> Software developer, now you have to hack the game. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not that smart. <laughs> Still gotta learn a bit more. But yeah, that would be quite interesting to hack the game. <laughs> if I show up with seven stars of everything and all the gear, then you'll know what happened. But I wouldn't count on it. I should switch my gear. I guess it's too late now, but maybe next match we'll switch it up a little bit. Let's see how our stream is doing here. Hopefully it's alive and well. We're almost at 1,900 subscribers. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. That would be awesome. I used to post every day, now I post sometimes, but <laughs> I don't know. Last couple streams have been a little longer, so you can watch them over the course of like two or three days. Ain't nobody got that much free time. Ooh, we got that kill. Let's see, are they coming up the right side or what? Got Larry's again. Let's see if we can sneak over here. I think there's someone back here. Yep. <laughs> Larry's again. Oh, where was this guy? Right there, I guess. <laughs> I didn't even see him. That was really cringy. What was cringy? Don't dish on me, bro. Is that six star? 
That looks pretty fresh. I haven't seen that in a while. Regular AG10 six star. Oh my gosh, we're getting spawn guild. Oh, we got this guy in the match again, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Duck my head down. Oh, we got a hit. <laughs> but that guy snuck up. Now we're not doing too good. Let's see. That guy stayed alive. Are they still over here? I don't know what's going on. I don't know where anyone is. I think there's one back here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Larry's, no. Larry's. We're going to kill him with a concussion. Let's go. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> we didn't get him. No. Come back. No, no, no. Caught on the reload. I popped out too quick. That's embarrassing. Very embarrassing. I don't know where to go right now. I don't know if they're still back here or what. There's one. Alright, we're back on track. We gotta kill. Let's see if they spawn over here. Alright, looks like they're spawning to the right. Oh, there's one. Yeah, there we go. I think those two kills, I think that's where you might see a little advantage with the Panther series. You know, I wasn't like strafing like crazy, but this guy knows I'm here. Oh my gosh. Almost killed myself. But yeah, just that little boost in speed in that close quarters fight, it does make a difference, I think. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Five star Adam edition. How much is this thing delayed? What do you always want to know? <laughs> no, no, come on. Let's see, I don't think he's running up. This guy's taking fire. Pretty sure there's a guy to our left. Let's do this. Nope, no hits. Might have been a bad throw. Oh, nope. Teammates over there. Dang, couldn't find anyone. About 20 seconds delay. That's good. I think last time you guys tested it, it was like 55 seconds. Probably gets longer as the stream goes on, I don't know. <laughs> Some random character. He's incognito. Alright, we'll jump into ranked TDM again, and we'll switch out our gear loadout. I don't really know what I'm going to go for, though just to see how it performs with some different gear. Um, let's change the vest first. I don't know. I think Tyrant Praetorian only works with Atom weapons, right? Yeah. The, the three-piece set could be pretty good with non-Atom weapons, just because you have so much defense. Um, Let's go with that, and oh, I went back to Torso. So. Can I join your match? Yeah, if you can find me. Feel free to give it a try. Should we go Halo Mask or Mastodon? Well, too late. <laughs> I was going to go Mastodon Helmet Tiger just because I love the way it looks. But at least we got a different map. Looked like Raised Fort. Or not Raised Fort, Desert Pit, I think. Oh, 
Let's see here. Hopefully the countdown timer shows up. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Got the countdown timer. So hopefully nobody will connect after it counts down. And we won't get that stupid lag. Let's see. Oh, we got Blake the Snake. He's got some pretty OP stuff. Pretty good player. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is having star AGL. He just got wrecked though. That guy has no idea what's going on. Oh no, caught on the reload. Is that Will? Is that you? I don't know. Larry's again. Where are we getting hit from? Alright, Blake the Snake moving up the left. This guy's over here. Running up this way. Alright, Blake the Snake got him. Everyone unsubscribe quick before he hits his own milestone. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how we got that kill. Whoa, I thought Blake the Snake was going to get him. What are you doing, bro? Just leave me out there to dry. What new map would you like to see? That's a good question. Definitely let me know in chat. I may or may not be able to pass any suggestions along. I think we're definitely overdue for a new map. I could get excited about that. I don't really know what I would want. I don't know, nothing's coming to mind. We already got a snowy one. We got a couple maps where it rains. So I don't know about any different weather. <laughs> oh, he's right there, caught him on the reload. Nice. See that extra portability boost, we ran away a little quicker there. I don't know. You might think it's stupid, I think it's worth it. Oh, I saw this guy run down here. Yep, called it. Gotta keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> I swear, I gotta put a filter on these chats. I can't. Can't do it. Oh, that's my homie. <laughs> let's see, let's get him. Wow, he's moving quick. Let's see what's going on. Where are they? I don't know. Oh, I saw something. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. There was somebody else. Where'd he go? Must have went over to this side. No? Guys, hello? Oh, oh, oh. Pop out. Do it, do it. He's coming this way. Nope, he ran away. This is going to be tough. Oh, we got him. That's how to rely on auto aim 101. Somebody's throwing something. Oh, that's Blake the Snake. Let's see, we got 10 seconds left. Blake the Snake is holding it down. Stayed alive at the end. Let's see if we can get one more. Oh, we spawned right there. That should be a pretty good match. Got the victory 18, 2, and 0. That is what I'm talking about. A city map would be nice. Yeah. I think it'd be cool, I don't know if the devs are into it, I don't know if their whole system is capable of it, but I think, you know, along the lines of a city map, like, some buildings where you can, where you have, like, second, maybe third floors, balconies, things like that to shoot from, you know, I don't know if, with the graphics being so good on a mobile device, I don't know if 
they'd be able to handle such a, I don't know, vertical map, I guess, but that could be pretty cool. How about a crossbow as a new weapon, like, like from Black Ops 2? Eh, I don't know. I guess it'd be a little fun, but I wouldn't be that excited about it, I don't know. The Dev's Office as a new map, there we go. That would be something. You could have cardboard cutouts to take out your frustration on. Or they could introduce like a hostage game mode where the devs are hostage. You gotta go rescue them. <laughs> you gotta rescue the devs so they can update the game. Let's see, this setup worked pretty good. Halo mask, beret pants, and the PMC vest tiger, PMC operator vest tiger. I don't know, I kind of like it. Maybe I'll switch out the headgear. Mask of Righteousness. This could be pretty interesting. We'll give this a go. We got the accuracy bonus while on the move with the tactical beret pants. Plus 20% while on the move. And then the Mask of Righteousness is just plus 20% in general, I think. Yep, with assault and handgun. So that should be pretty good for the CQR. We'll see how this goes here. If we can find a match, where's everybody? I don't know. Zombie game mode. Yeah, I feel like they could change training into something a little bit different. Turn it into some type of like zombie game mode with like rounds of survival against the bots. I don't know. Should be pretty easy to do something like that. That could be a little more fun. Let's see, we got a match on Warehouse, finally. Been streaming for like 32 minutes. I don't know, let me know in chat if any of you guys want to do customs. If not, I might end it after the stream. If you do want to do customs, we can do a couple after this match. If not, I'll end it after this match. I think I said after the stream. Whatever. Yeah, I think overall I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the CQR 2000 Panther. It's not a huge... You know, it's not down a completely different path from any other CQR edition. I think if you have another CQR, it's it's pretty close. It's close enough. Any CQR is definitely a viable gun in the game. But yeah, I like the Panther edition, and it looks cool as well. What's up, Dawson? Thanks for stopping by. Probably not going that much longer. Ah, see that's where we're missing the range boost. There we go. We're about to get blown up. Restrepo USA. There's a really good documentary on Netflix about Restrepo. If any of you guys have Netflix and want to check it out, you should be able to find it. I wonder if that guy served or whatever, if he's connected to it. Why only 30 minutes stream for two hours? I don't know. I'm trying to do like a weapons review like I used to do when I recorded videos. Oh, we got Echo in here. Shout out to Echo. Um, so I was trying to keep it a little short. That was some crazy leg. So yeah, I don't know. I think I'll, I think I'll keep it short.
Oh, double. Look at that. That's awesome. I don't know where they are. I think they're in the back corner, probably. Oh my gosh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, five star CQR 2000 Panther. Nice gun, dude. Nice gun. Custom match, let's go. All right. I'll do a custom, see who joins up after this match. For Strapo, we got him. Gonna run out here, might be a little risky. Yep. Dang. Echo's getting me pretty good. I guess that's good to include in a review, getting killed by the weapon that we're reviewing. Shows you how quick it kills. We got some payback there. Let's see, there's Echo. Got him again. That kills so quick. Once you're within the effective range of the CQR, it kills so quick. That was leggy as heck. That was a terrible throw. I don't even think we hit him. Yeah, we didn't get him. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, but this isn't a video. It's a stream. Just keep streaming. I feel ya. If you max out my AG time real quick, I'll keep streaming and review the AG time. <laughs> it's at like level 27. Oh, that's my teammate. Oh, really? My teammate was right there. Oh, he's got the CQR 2000 as well. Let's see, match is a little tight. 4,900 to 4,800. 4,000. Is he gonna run this way? Nope. Might be going all the way to this side. I don't know. No, he was up there. I don't know, man. I'll do it. Just give me three minutes and I'll be maxed out. Tell me your secrets, bro. <laughs> 10, 7, and 1. I think that's our worst match of the stream, but... We had some tough competition. We got XX Echo XX and Restrepo USA. I'll set up a custom match here. I think I'll stick with my CQR, stick with the theme of the video. Hopefully you guys like the thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> Google images, stealing pictures. I'm gonna get a copyright strike on my thumbnails one of these days. At least I edited it a little bit, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, we'll go to multiplayer, go to customs. I think we'll do Europe 3 again, that seems to work. Custom, Europa 3, create match. Panthers. Let's try to use all Panther guns. I'm not like, not gonna be like a strict requirement, but if you wanna bring a Panther gun, I think it'd be pretty cool to have all Panther guns in the match. Uh, let's see. Raised for it. Let's do raised for it, I like that. No bots, auto aim. Should I restrict it to five stars? <laughs> the OP guys out of the match. Oh, I was gonna change my gear, I guess too late. Sticking with the Mask of Righteousness, PMC Operator, Vest Tiger, and the Tactical Beret Pants. Guess we'll be all right. Let's see if anybody joins here. I'm ready. If you do customs, wait for me. I'm waiting. Don't embarrass me and have no one show up. All right, there we go. We got Chegas. It's going to be a 1v1 at this point. All right, we got Flacco in the match. Shout out to you back again. 
Let's see a countdown from 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. I'm trying to go slow. 13. All right, we got Echo and we got Cool Dog. All right, there's some more people. We'll keep counting down. I think I'm at 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's do that thing. Next match in 3, 2, 1. Joining up on Raised Fort. Let's see what heat you guys are bringing. What's going to kill me this time around? Chagas probably has a three piece Adam set. Probably not going to be able to kill him. <laughs> Let's see, spawning in the back corner. What should be my move? I'm going to run down to the trench, I think. Probably someone to my right. But we'll escape that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got him off the bat. He wasn't ready. Who's this? Who's this? We got two. Double kill, double kill. Ooh, seven star UNK CQB Shamrock. I see you. At least it's not three piece Adam Gear. Dang, nice kill, Echo. Got the jump on me there. See if anybody's running out this way. No, nope, we'll go back down to the trenches. Don't see anybody to the left. Oh, there's one. Chegas. Got him. Got that speedy cleric on best. With some good assault protection, but CQR still kills pretty quick. Dang, you're moving quick. Alright, where did he die from? Oh, he's right there. Dang. Echo, I can't keep up with you today. You're wrecking me. Alright, let's see. Is Echo down here? Or did he move out? He must have moved. There's one. Yeah, Chagas. Caught him standing still. Don't spawn back here. Don't spawn back here. Alright, we're good. Oh, there's one. He got away. There's one coming up the bridge here. I knew it. I knew it. I saw him coming. Ooh, alright. He's playing smart. He's not popping out. Oh, we got kill assist. So that means Flacco's coming up. I think I saw him go to my left. Oh, there's one right here. I wasn't ready. A nice four-star CQR 2000 Panther. Pretty cool. Chagas. Oh my gosh, we're so close. That's our like three piece beret set. We probably would have got the kill there. We just need like a little bit of a range boost for the auto aim to lock on. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Oh, look at that. That was laggy. There's someone coming this way. Dang, I knew he was there. No excuses, man. I should have had that. Let's see, it looks like Echo's going to take it, man. At least I'm not going to win. I don't think I'm coming back. <laughs> that was weird. Nice kill, though. Let's see. Cool Dog was back here. Don't see anybody. Let's run up this way. Watch the bridge. Somebody to my left. Okay, there's someone behind me as well. Yep, that was Chagas to my left running across. He just took out Flacco. He should be coming up this way. I don't have stun protection. Ooh, he's going to blow me up the ML20. There's somebody running up this way. I don't know. Kill assist. Oh, come on. Who's this? Someone's there. Like, how is that not a kill? I hate this. I'm so bad. I don't... Come on. I'm literally using two phones right now. One is for the stream and one for after pause. 
that's what's up, man. Gotta do what you gotta do. I guess it's cool you have two phones. Let's see what the scores are looking like. 18, 9, and 1. Shout out to Echo doing some damage out there. Somehow I got second place with six kills, man. First place got 18, second place got six. That's pretty crazy. Uh, let's see, I'm going to change my loadout real quick, and then I'll set up one more. And I think that's going to do it for the stream. I'm going to go three-piece tactical beret set like we started off the stream with. A little less defense, but we get that range boost and some extra portability, I believe. 33-38 on the portability. Let's see, we'll do Europe 3 again. Nope, I did Europe 6. Europe 3. And create match. Call it more because I'm super creative. Um, I don't know. I feel like I always want to do close quarters for deathmatch. That just seems like the deathmatch map. I guess Raised Fort was pretty good, but we'll switch it up here and do close quarters. Hopefully you guys are good with that. The gun looks dope. What gun? The CQR. I think it looks dope. <laughs> it's alright, Chegas. You'll give me this match if you join up. We got Echo back in the house. Ready to take another victory, I bet. We got Cool Dog 101 back again. We got Chegas back again. We got Flacco back again. Countdown from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do that thing. Stole that line from Jake Paul. <laughs> Make sure you're dabbing on the haters. And let's do that thing. Super cringe. The cringe is real right now. Wow, the chat is dead. Yeah, there's like... It says 17 people are watching. I mean... I'm not popping, man. My YouTube is not lit. Plus, it's late on a Wednesday night. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think this will be the last match for the stream. I won't call it a video. Oh, there it is. There it is. Seven star CQR 2000 Adam with three piece Adam gear set. This is going to be a mess. Let's see if we can get him with the range boost. No, what just happened? See, saw Chegas over there. Dude, what is going on? It doesn't work. My gun doesn't work. It's jamming up or something. Alright, he's coming up. Come on, man. I was pre firing and everything. Oh my gosh. Why? Why do you do this to me, Echo? Oh, come on, let me get one. I think there's someone back here. Nope. There he is, yep. Ooh, kill for kill. Four star versus five star. Guess I don't have that much of an advantage with an extra star. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm not ready. I can't. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm sorry you have to see this. Come on, I just saw someone. Where'd he go? No, oh, he keeps running away. All right, we got this guy for sure. There we go. Oh, there's another one running up. Oh, come on, man. I was going to blow you up. It's not fair. 
but that rocket launcher does look fresh. No, Chagas, I'm gonna blow you up. And I blew myself up. <laughs> oh man. Let's see, doesn't look like he's chasing me down. Kind of a smart move. In a way. Oh, come on, we got him, we got him, there we go. Killed him pretty quick that time. We gotta get, oh, two, two? Nope, Echo took one of those. There we go, we're doing it now. We got a chance. We got like half of Chega's score. Oh, kill assist, where's Chega's? Where is he, where is he? Oh, he's running around this way. No, come on. Oh, seriously, how do you... Can you really switch to the rocket launcher that quick and shoot it that quick? That was impressive. Very interesting. Let's see, is someone dead over there? Oh, he's back here. No, come on, man. I'm just so slow on the trigger. I don't know what's going on. Getting destroyed. I'm in fourth. Not the way I was hoping to end the stream, but it's all good. Come on, cool dog. I know you're back there. Come on, man. Someone's going to just kill me from behind here. Oh my gosh, he's like, he had zero health left. Oh, there we go, finally. The GL sniper is back, baby. Oh, come on, I want to get Chagas. No. Oh, come on, we didn't even get cool dog. This is going to be bad. Seven, nine, and four. That was a tough match. Shout out to Chagas taking the victory. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good video on the CQR 2000 Panther. I like the series. I think, like I said, I'll sum it up again. I think in close range, you might see a little bit of benefit. You know, you can strafe a little quicker. You can just, in general, move around your enemies a little quicker. With the portability boost of the Panther series, it does have the damage boost. So it is, without a doubt, without debate, better than the regular CQR 2000. Um... But long range, I think the Atom, I would say the Atom's probably going to be the best. The Autumn would probably be the second best. Um, and then this guy, obviously, but it does have the advantage in close range, I think. I don't know. Just my preference, but obviously, regardless of where it stacks up, it's a great gun to play with. You saw some good matches. I think our best one was like 18 and 2, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that, I think. I'll max out this AG-10 Panther by tomorrow. Um, and we'll be back with a video on the five star maxed of that guy. Definitely fun to play with. Um, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like, all that YouTube stuff. I don't know. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, shout out to all you guys for stopping by. And as always, I'll catch you on the next video.